Hi there, Miss Lambs here. So in the second part of the video, we are going to show you how we are going to use the data logger to measure pH of the solution. So let me introduce you with the equipment first. So this one is the data logger. So if let's say if you cannot install the data logger software in the PC or you don't want to leave your PC in the lab for a long period of time, then you can use the data logger. Okay. So um, please just one thing is that best that you charge it while you use it, okay, so that the next person they can use it without the charger, so that's why I plug it in. Okay, so basically they connect it to the sensor, so then uh, directly. Okay, so let me just take it out. And you can see here, there are some channels. Okay, so it's kind of like the phones, okay, so you can see that the ending looks a bit like this as well. So it's like the phone. So uh, yes, it's just like the phone, okay? So uh, when you use it, you need to press it, okay, to insert, and then when you need to take it out, you need to press it and act coming out. So for example, um, yes, so that's the idea of how the, how the sensor is used with the data logger. And same thing is, um, there's two types of pH sensor. One is called the flat pH sensor. So it's used to measure colloid solutions, such as milk, okay? And another one is a bulk pH sensor, Okay, it's used to measure color solutions like these. Okay, right. So let's get started. Okay, so let's let's try the milk one first. Okay, so turn on the sensor. Oh, battery low, so I need to make sure again. So make sure you charge it. Okay, when you use it or after you finish using it, so then the next person don't have to charge it. Okay, so hold on a sec. Click the little, ah, save it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, switch it on. You can find the on button here, okay? So usually when it starts, okay, so it should start right away is the sensor mode already. Okay, so what you do is, oh, let me just take this away first. It's all tangled up. Ah. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so here, so what we're going to do is, okay, we want to try the milk first. So we will use the flat pH sensor. Okay, press this one, okay, before you put it into the channel. So channel one. So the good thing about using the meter, uh, the Logger Pro, is that you can measure three sensors at the same time, okay? So sometimes it takes some time to measure it, right? Anyway, uh, so here, this is the Logger Pro, so usually, so it's in it's based in a buffer solution. So it's very important that you screw it out. Okay, so okay. Make sure the sensor is always inside the buffer solution when not used it. Okay, so now this one, as you can see here, this is a trace uh, flat pH sensor. Okay, you can see that this one there's a very thin membrane at the top. Okay, so it's very important that we keep it moist. Alright, so usually what I will do is I will rinse it beforehand to remove all the buffer. So this is water, just rinse a bit, just briefly rinse a bit. Okay. And then I pop it into the milk solutions. Now, when you put in the milk solution, you need to make sure. Oops, just one thing though. Oops. Okay, you need to make sure that this bulb here is submerged into a solution because that's how they detect it. So put it in. Okay, and then wait for a while until it's stabilized. So for milk, we expect it to be, should be slightly alkaline. Okay, so let's wait for a bit to stabilize. Okay, so yeah. So that's how we use for the uh, flat pH uh, sensor. Okay, and then moving on to the next part. Okay, so let's settle down and then, yeah, moving on. Moving on is the bulk uh, pH sensor. So this one is the bulk pH sensor, 
okay and when you take it out just be careful okay so screw it so don't just uh, plug it out okay so it's just screw it and then take it out okay put it safe put the buffer safe again what we usually do is we rinse it with water first okay rinse it with water before and after use now why do we call this a bulb ph sensor you can see it uh, closer look this is actually a bulb at the top it's kind of like a light bulb here okay again we need to make sure the bulb is um, submerged in the buffer solution make sure it doesn't dry up okay uh, because you think about it ph is actually measured inside fluid inside solution so it must be not dry up okay so this one okay water okay now i put this one into the uh, sensor now All right, so now you can see that, okay, so the bulb pH sensor is detecting water. We okay, need to allow some time for it to settle down for a bit. Um, yes. So you can see that it's actually dropping. Actually, the milk is a bit stable now, so it's 6.7 something. It's okay uh, because actually it's uh, old milk already. It might turn sour already. So uh, yeah, so this one is like, um, it's dropping still. Okay, so still dropping. So there's a pitch of water, okay. Oh, ideally, I should change it because previously I have some buffer solution in it. So, but yeah, so that's the idea. And then if I switch it to HCL, let's see what will happen. Now it dropped really, really fast. So this one is HCL, okay? So uh, it looks like the pH is around 0 0.97 something. So it's quite sensitive, okay? And then let me just rinse with water again, <laughs> okay? And then try with alkaline solution, NaOH. Now it's rising very rapidly as well, can you see? So this one is like 12 point something, okay? So that is how we use the flat pH sensor and the bulk pH sensor. Oh, just one more thing. Uh, actually, how do we put it back? So what we do is we usually rinse with water first, okay, and then screw it, screw it in, okay? So screw it in, okay, and then that's it. Okay, so that's how you can return it to the um, trolley, okay? Thank you, and bye for now.